This video will walk you through the search, discovery, and ordering or download of Earth science data using Reverb. Reverb is the web front-end to NASA's ECHO Earth Science Metadata Catalog that provides access to more than 3,000 Earth science data collections and over 120 million Earth science granules contained within those collections. Reverb allows users to find data using a number of search parameters, including spatial and temporal constraints, as well as free text keyword searching or searching by specific data attributes such as platform, instrument, or processing level. When you first visit Reverb, you will notice that there are three initial steps involved in discovering catalog holdings. Step 1. Select search criteria. Step 2. Select datasets. Step 3. Discover granules. For this tutorial, we will be demonstrating a search for rainfall data from the Aqua satellite over the eastern region of the United States during April of 2011. Note that this search will involve keyword, platform, spatial, and temporal constraints to pinpoint the exact data we are looking for. Once we find data matching these constraints, we will go through the process of viewing the granules available over this time period, as well as the direct download or ordering of these data using Reverb's download and ordering capabilities. Let's begin by selecting our spatial constraints. Notice that Reverb allows the user to specify a bounding box, a point, a polygon, a 2D coordinate, or place name. For this search, we are going to use a bounding box. We click the map to drag a box over our region of interest. Reverb begins its search immediately and has narrowed our focus down to 1,848 datasets from an original count of 3,220. We can further refine our search by selecting Aqua from the Platforms and Instruments Search Options menu. This will drastically reduce our datasets results down to 301. We will continue to narrow our focus by adding temporal constraints to our query using the calendar widgets. First, we choose a start date of April 1, 2011. Next, we select an end date of April 30, 2011. Once again, we see our result set narrow, this time to 195 datasets. Adding a keyword parameter of rainfall to our search using the free text search terms field will allow us to find any dataset specifically dealing with rainfall. This shows us two final results. We are interested in swath rain data, so we will select the first result by checking the box next to it. This allows us to look at the granules within this collection by populating the Discover Granules box at the bottom of our screen. Once we have selected the collection, we can look for specific granules if we know the granule ID, or we can look at all granules in the collection that fall within our search constraints by clicking the Search for Granules button. The first thing we notice on the granule results screen is a data quality summary informational dialog. Some collection providers have additional information about the product's quality and want to make sure a user knows where to find out more information. We will click Accept and move on. Once we have accepted the data quality summary, we are taken to the granule results list view. This may take several seconds depending on your search parameters. Once in list view, we can see all granules matching our search criteria. Often, granules may have associated browse imagery, which is viewable by clicking on the image icon in the browse column. We can also view extended information about the granule by clicking the information icon. This will show us more information about the granule, including associated URLs that may be used to directly access the granule via FTP or HTTP. The granule list view also offers the ability to further narrow our results by including more collection-specific search options. This collection offers several narrowing options such as cloud cover percentage and orbit number. Next, we will look at these granules using Reverb's map view. We click on the map view tab and are shown the same list of granules. We are now able to overlay the spatial extent of these granules onto this map. Because each of these granules represents swath data, we can see each swath overlaid on the map. We can also see where these swaths intersect with our area of interest. Once we've decided which granules we are interested in, we can move on to the data retrieval process using the shopping cart. 
This process is covered in the Reverb Data Retrieval video tutorial, also available via YouTube.